Well, Coach, I mean, kind of a big weekend for you guys. I mean, you guys go to New Mexico and three, three of your athletes break records. What was that like? Yeah, it was just, it was tough to get there, but we got there. And then uh, I mean, once we were there, we wanted to make an impact and do something. Uh, travel wasn't easy, but uh, just to get uh, some other people going uh, with some different marks and get qualified for conference and nationals. Obviously, Benjamin was a big one. Um, hasn't been too healthy, but was able to uh, train pretty well over the last month. He still hasn't trained uh, as much as we'd like. So for him to do that was, I wouldn't say shocking, but we're, we're happy to see where he is. Um, and then Zeta just keeps doing her thing every week, just keeps getting better. She's another one that had you know, three months off of training and just coming out there and doing that off her just pure talent. And she's just been awesome in the weight throw, which is not an event she's usually strong at. Now, not nationally wise, she's never been in the national meet. Now she's like top seven in the nation. So she just can do every throw. To have someone like her that can do every single throw, it's just very rare. And we probably won't have that again. Because she can throw hammer, disc, shot, weight. And she's just a phenomenal athlete. Um, but other than that, we had some really good multi marks. Elliot Harrison, she did really well. Uh, Gerard Bryant's top 10 in the country. Um, so it was a really good meet for us. I think we just have to continue to progress and hopefully we get some better weather this week to train in and then go up to Tech and see if we can continue to uh, get better. Or do you plan to take everyone up to Tech or is it still just going to kind of funnel in people that need so to So we'll work? take the whole sprints, jumps, throws, everyone will go to Tech and then we'll have a distance group at Grand Valley. State University, just because of the 300 meter tracks, it's a little easier on them, and then they set up races well for the distance events. So we'll have a, our big crew up there running the distance events since they were off this last weekend, and then everybody else will be at Tech, and we'll be trying to uh, roll up there and see if we can get some more national marks and get some people qualified for conference. With Zeta and Benjamin, it seems like every time they go out, they're breaking one of their own records, an LSC yeah. record. Just how is it knowing that you have two or multiple players like that are just so special in their sports? Well, it's just, uh, just someone you can count on, for sure. I mean, they just always rise to the occasion, step up to the competition level. I mean, this weekend was LSU, Texas, TCU, New Mexico, Arizona State, us, and some other really good D2s. So we're always going to big-time meets, and they always seem to rise to the occasion. And like I said, Zeta just keeps getting better. And, uh, Coach Denham's done a great job with her. And she just brings her own energy. She's a phenomenal competitor if you ever watched her compete. So. And then Ben just, Ben's Ben, so he just keeps doing his thing, pretty quiet about it, pretty humble, and just uh, now we got to see if we're going to do the 200 and see if we're going to get him there. I'm, we're a little hesitant just because we haven't been able to train a whole lot, so we'll see what we want to do about the 200 indoor, but uh, we got the 60 knocked out, and now we got to kind of see what we want to do with that 200, like I said. This weekend will be big for 4x4s. Four we're going to try to qualify there and just some other uh, individual events. I think we can do something at Texas Tech and, and get where we need to be. Coach, I mean, you kind of talked about Ben being a humble guy. I mean, I remember last year you saying even after some of his great times, he was still like, I could have come out of the blocks better. I could have done yeah. this better. After running a 6.54 in time, the NCAA Division II record, was there any part of him that was still even somewhat disappointed that he didn't break it instead of just tying it? Oh, yeah. He's he's always wants to improve. And I think we I think his first race, you know, his reaction wasn't that great. And then he's just so elite from 30 to 60. Um, but if he continues to improve that acceleration, 0 to 30, there's no telling how fast he can run. He's already number seven in the world. And he's, has a, he's only run twice. So um, for him to get some more training in, hopefully by nationals and conference, we can, I mean, his goal is around 6'4 or something. So if we can get down to that, then that's pretty pretty elite. And he won't be here long if he's running that. <laughs> how does he stay motivated? Uh, well, he's, you know, he just wants to get back to the world championships this year. Um, He's a big team guy. He wants uh, WT to do really well. He wants to win a national championship as a team here. And he knows that um, obviously he's a big part of that. And um, you know, representing his country and you know, getting that experience at the Olympics and now pushing for, towards another world championship and then another Olympics. I mean, he just has big goals ahead of him. Um, and then he keeps in mind his academics. I mean, he's a 3.5 student. He's an ag major. So um, he's just a one of a kind guy to have on your team. For me, it's, it's, it's tough because I just want to keep him healthy and keep him improving. And, um, we're able to do that so far, and we'll see if we can continue to do that and um, see what he does from here. You kind of touched on him being a team guy. I mean, not just him, but Zeta as well. I, other than personally trying to get better, what do they do to make the team better on a daily basis there? Well, Zeta, like I said, just brings a lot of energy to practice. So she's just one of those that just brings it every day. So weight room. Obviously big for all our events, but definitely the throws brings it in there. She's 
very strong, very technically sound in there, and she's a real good just uh, leader for those younger athletes that come in, and they just see what it takes and see what she does every day um, out there at the throws rings. And then when, when she's around the rest of the team, she's always yelling for everybody, she, whether it's a jumper, sprinter, distance runner, she knows the whole team and really uh, does a great job of uh, motivating the team by just being there for them and yelling for them. And just uh, brings a lot of energy. Uh, and then Ben just, uh, Ben's more quiet. You know, he just uh, works works really hard, does exactly what we ask him to do. Uh, he's just a one-of-a-kind kind of athlete. Uh, they see what he does and they know it works, so they, they trust the training and trust the system we have here. Obviously, it's working for him. He just goes about his business, and he's more of a guy that will take people to the side and maybe talk to him. He's not going to be a guy that's uh, yelling or creating a lot of uh, emotion in the stands or anything like that. He's more personality.